What up guys, so today I'm gonna to be going to the northwesternmost point of Finland, which is Ilmetsjärvi. So before we go all the way to Kilpiservi and to two other places that I will be mentioning in the vlog, first off we're gonna go to Ylitornia, have a show there, and then at night we're gonna go and bring up posters to the following places that we will be having a show. And after that, the next day we're gonna have that super long drive. In this vlog we will be crossing Sweden as well because Ylitornia, where we had the show, there is actually a bridge where it's going to the Swedish side of the border. Border, where is a town called Overtornea, if I'm saying that right. We did previously put there some posters before we came here. And yeah, it's really cool how Sweden is just so close. You can just go there just for a quick drive. No one checks anything. The bridge is like a kilometer long or not more than two kilometers. So yeah, that's that's really cool. So we went to go and pick up some posters and then our journey to go to Muanio began. So before any road trip of ours begins to bring posters, we always get snacks no matter what. So by the way, just to clarify, we are actually picking up posters in our previous town where we had a show. So yes we actually crossed here the swedish border and it was in swedish time which was 8 pm and this store was still open so we just got some food for the night before our longer journey begins and luckily we also managed to cross the arctic circle which is so cool i got some nice pictures over here this is so cool like when you travel you get to see new things experience amazing things I just love it. So we just arrived at our very first destination and basically how we put the posters is my mom would glue them and I would just place them because that saves us a lot of time. And this was pretty cool here because you could see how far each town is from here. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically how we do it. It saves a lot of time and you might be wondering and asking to yourself, well, why don't we just glue them in advance so that both of us could do that at the same time? Well, the thing is we used to do that, but now since we're traveling long distances, we just don't have the time. And anyway, this way is somehow better because we're able to actually see how many posters we actually need. But every time we bring posters, it's definitely something like this. At nighttime, it's a benefit because there's literally no cars on the road, so you can just cross the road really freely and by the way this was at around 12 a.m at night so at midnight um we do this at night because it was the only time that we had preferably we do this during the mornings also if the villages are not too far but since these are over a hundred something kilometers away in distance so at night time we just had to do it but it's fine we love it it's a bit tiring sometimes but hey we love it it's fun we get to travel and that's what matters the time is currently 12.34 a.m. and we still have a few more posters to place around town and I look dead. <laughs> but oh well, that's how to see. We already put that poster there. Morning guys, last night we arrived at around 3.30 a.m. and I went to sleep at around 4 a.m. I went to take a shower and I went straight to bed. I didn't even eat anything. <laughs> okay, so I just had to sit down, have some coffee, while I explain to you a little bit of what I'm doing. So basically I have my own business, if many of you do not know that, and it requires me to travel a lot for multiple distances, long distances. And the reason why we travel so far is because because number one, we need to put our posters and advertisements and two, we want to bring joy to people by entertaining them with our show. For kids especially, I love what I do. It can be tiring sometimes, but that's how businesses are and I really love it. I cannot wait to take you with me later on. As I said, I wasn't able to film much last night. I did not have much battery left on my phone because I forgot my charger here at the hotel that I'm staying in. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be explaining to you where I'm gonna be going later on. So basically after the show, after we pick up all the posters within this town that we have a show and then we're shortly gonna go to our long trip. <laughs> so today we're gonna go to three places so far. Number one is Enontekia Hetta, then is Kaarasuvanto, then is Kilpisjärvi. So basically Kilpisjärvi and Kaarasuvanto, they all belong to Enontekia. So Enontekia has multiple different like towns, little like villages. 
but it's owned by Enoteki because since in Lapland all of the villages are all just scattered around in large distances like with each town being a bit over 100 kilometers at the time especially when you go to the real Lapland like after Muonio it gets so far from everything there so they just decided even though it's far it just belongs to this one specific village if that makes sense. So for context, Gilpi Servi is located at the arm of Finland. And if you don't know what that looks like, here's a map so they can see what it looks like. Um, so it's basically like a woman figure with the hand reaching out and Gilpi Servi is at the tip of that arm almost, which happens to be the northwesternmost point of Finland. And the cool thing about Gilpi Servi is that it shares a border with Sweden and Norway. And it's not just any border, it's a triangle border. And the only way to reach the borders is either by going by boat or by walking. But Gilpi Servi is a very special village in my opinion because it's just so far out of reach and there's only a population of not more than 2,000 people just in Gilpi Servi, but it is one of the like bigger villages within Enotekia, which is pretty cool, however. So right now I'm doing a few things at the same time. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm writing down the driving kilometers. There is a right word for that, but I just don't remember what it was called. So if you don't know what that means, it's basically I have to write down each and every distance of where we travel to. This is very important when you have a business, especially like this, or if you just travel a lot for your business, you need to write it down because they will need to minus this from your cost because this is a business expense so that you're not going to end up paying way more tax than you should. At the same time, I'm also writing down all the expenses that we had for the week or for the day. Normally, it's best to be done like every day, but sometimes you just have not the time to do it every day so it just gets pushed up to a week and i also write down ticket sales even though i don't have to but it's just for extra documentation in my opinion so that's been currently an hour and a half or something after that i've been just basically writing down the driving kilometers because when you have this kind of business it is crucial to make sure that you write down all of the driving kilometers i don't know what's the right word for that basically the driving kilometers that you do from one place to another just to make sure they don't take too much tax out of you and as proof that you did drive that much it's nice because we have the show in this place today so we don't really have to drive too far it's literally just a few kilometers away so i'm so excited and yeah. And then after a couple of hours of doing that, I'm gonna be editing this video. So yes. So our journey to Gilpi Servi began and I'm so excited because Gilpi Servi is one of my favorite towns in Lapland and I just love it so much. And you won't be seeing too much in this vlog, but I promise you in the next vlog you will see more because I'm just gonna be placing posters here and advertisements. So yeah. <laughs> We are not too far from Gilpi Servi. We only have about less than 20 kilometers before we reach it. And so far, we have made it to the highest point of Finnish road. So this is crazy. I'm just gonna be walking around here a little bit. I've been here before, but it's just so cool to go here again. gonna lie it does feel quite chilly up here on the car it's showing that here's like about five degrees celsius which is extremely cold i'm so used to like 20 degrees celsius at this point so this is a bit cold ah. used to be a souvenir shop but for whatever reason it just they closed it down i'm just following along this trip because you could see the amazing view from here which is crazy ah, i'm so happy The only memory that we did leave behind at the road point of Finland is that we just pissed on it. <laughs> we had to use the restroom, but there is no restrooms available, so we had to piss here, so... This life is natural. <laughs> Oh my god, we look so exhausted, but we're so happy at the same time. So we were trying to get some pictures done here, but clearly she did not make that too easy. She wanted to get all the best angles. <laughs> Nothing, and I was saying, I was saying but yes, <laughs> because I was thinking, is it topping this some cooling water? But then I was saying, it must be the pee. <laughs> Literally, keep stopping like every few seconds because you keep seeing such amazing views. This is why you should definitely come to Gilpi or in any place further north in Lapland.
as much as I love the views and everything about Kilpiserri, not too much the roads. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. The good thing about it is they're actually fixing the road, so it should be done by the end of this month actually which is really great so we then arrived to Kilpis I was so happy to be here and then we were just placing our posters here like I showed you how I placed them yeah pretty pretty nice <laughs> The time now is exactly 1.41 a.m. It looks as if though it's 6 a.m. So crazy, it's so light. <laughs> After placing the posters in Gilpies, we then had to go all the way down from there up. So we had to go all the way back that same route that we came by because then we have to put in the one more town some posters because we're gonna have a show there too. And then they were playing some ABBA songs on the radio and we were so happy, we're like dancing, but obviously I cannot play that because you know, copyright. So yeah, that sucks, but it was such a good song and oh, it's such a vibe. So we arrived at the next spot, so we placed the posters on the Finnish side and then we also did place them on the Swedish side, writing them in Swedish, of course, so that the locals can understand. So yeah, this was, I think, almost at around 4 a.m. so far. <laughs> Time now is currently 5.30 a.m. We've been going non-stop for these past few days. It's crazy. But we're almost home, can't wait to sleep. Guys, I just got back. The time now is like 6.30 a.m. We've been on the go for like three days straight. And so far I've only had like four hours, maybe five hours of sleep. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. No, I mean, I'll talk to you in a few hours after I wake up. <laughs> Good morning guys, so today is the next day and I'm feeling a little bit better. Well, not the next day, it was like four hours after I filmed that. <laughs> so I slept for like four hours and a half, I think, and now I have to get some work done before our show, which is later in the other town. But I'm still gonna be staying here for one more night, which is great, I'm so excited. I can't wait to test out the sauna later, which you're gonna see in the next vlog. So that was pretty much the trip going to Gaga Suvanto and Kilpisjärvi. I had a lot of fun there and even though it was extremely long and tiring, I really enjoyed my time there and I cannot wait to have our show there and then I cannot wait to hopefully be able to do the hike up that mountain. I'm so excited. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like and enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and comment down below. And thank you so much and God bless and have a nice day. Bye!